Okay, so we stopped to, um, to keep these in short segments, but we're actually almost done with this problem. Uh, we've, we started with this first order circuit, and we have transformed the circuit from the perspective of the energy storage element into the Thevenin equivalent. Now that we've got the Thevenin equivalent, where the voltage source is 4 volts, the resistance is 4 kilo ohms, we can just boom apply the solution. And the solution is going to be the simpler solution for the constant source. And so that looks like this. Okay, all we have to do is figure out what m is, what x0 is, and what tau is. Well, tau, that's simple enough, right? What is tau? It's just R, Rc. So R, the Thevenin resistance, 4K, and C was 1 micro farad. Okay, again, I'm going to just use the metric prefixes, not the units. And so that is equal to 0 0.004. So tau is 0 0.004. Um, X0. Okay. Anybody have any ideas on X0? Well, X, you know, in this case, X is the voltage, because that's what we're looking for, is we're looking for the voltage across the capacitor. And we know that, that this equation did give us the voltage across the capacitor for this circuit. So we're looking for that initial voltage. You know, what's the voltage at T equals 0? Well, we know the voltage at T equals 0 minus. But we're talking about for all T greater than 0. So we have to convince ourselves that this, this is still the voltage after that switch closes. And so we go back to that idea that the voltage across a capacitor cannot change instantaneously. So if you use that idea that it can't change instantaneously, then you know that at T, just after the switch closes, also has the voltage being at 3 volts. So. So that's what this x0 is. It's 3 volts. So, so now I'm just plugging in the particulars of this problem. Oh, and what's m? <coughs> Remember, m was y of t. It was the voltage over the... Remember, going back here, y of t was equal to vs of t over tau. And we're saying that y is constant. So basically, we're, we're, this, is, this is our forcing function here, m. All right, the reason that it's, that it's multiplied by tau is because, I mean, we're saying that the forcing function is a constant. We called it m. So that was the m in this equation. It's not exactly the same as just our constant source of 4 volts. So you, you have to be, so that, but anyway, it comes out here. So, um, all right, so, so what we've actually got, m is actually 4 over tau. And so then when you plug it into this equation, you, you do end up with just the 4 volts. So because the 4 over tau times tau just ends up being 4 volts plus, and then x0 we just said was 3 volts minus, okay, 4 volts times tau. I mean, well, it was the, the m was the... 4 over tau, so anyway, this also ends up just being 4 volts, and then e to the minus t over 0 0.004, and so, let's see, so we've got 4 volts, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, so I guess I'll just call it minus e to the minus t, okay, that looks a little awkward. 1 over 0 0.004 is actually 250. So it's minus 250 T volts. And there's our answer.